Hello, welcome to Paris. We are at la Cité des Sciences et de l'Industrie. Today, we welcome the winners of the Jury's Choice Prize of the Jacques Rougerie Foundation 2017 with their project Solar Sport. Hi, I'm Alexandre Brassard. I've studied architecture at Paris Val de Seine School. I've been working in architecture and 3D design since 10 years, and that's how we met together. I am Sif Truman, I am architect. I studied at the School of Architecture of Marne Valley and uh, Paris La Villette in Paris. And we both know each other for a long time with Alexandre and uh, we wanted for years to design a project together. The Fondation Jacques Rougerie's competition invited us to think about architecture and space, two fields that fascinate us. In this way, we have imagined an orbital solar power plant. It travels through space and it opens like a flower. The first difficulty was to send it into space. So it's with my father, Pierre-Jacques Truman. He is an engineer. And together we designed a rocket, a large rocket, that can send the project at once into space. The project is designed as a living organism, just like a plant. It opens easily, almost naturally. We can build many and send them all around the solar system. We consider nature as an infinite source of inspiration. The way the flower opens is very exceptional. Could you imagine from a, a small bud, they spread their petals along a large surface, which is perfect for solar sport. Solar spore originality is to collect energy from the photosynthesis of the cultivated microalgae. We wanted, above all, to connect nature and the human beings in space, because it's our link with the planet. Microalgae are primitive organisms among the oldest on the planet. They live in the ocean, and some of them are at the origin of the oxygenation of planet Earth billions of years ago and therefore of the origin of life on Earth. The structure is made of pillows. Each one is containing algues. The whole structure with pillows is called the raceway. The crops thin on sunlight. They recycle waste and CO2. Harvesting microalgae produces energy. We burn it in a photobioreactor. We can also produce oxygen or other gas like hydrogen the same way. Several photobioreactors already exist on Earth. This system may one day replace conventional solar panels. The multifunctional space station welcomes researchers, biologists, scientists, doctors, space farmers and also tourists. The axis is like a, a street allowing the distribution of 30 individual pots. We wanted this project to be a place where all these people can connect and exchange together, just like in a village. In this space village, you will live almost like on Earth. Pods are rotating around the axis to provide artificial gravity to all this station, which is important if you want to live many years in space. So Aspor is autonomous. You can find there an hospital block, a cafeteria, a farm, and why not, a luxury hotel. During the conception of the project, disasters such as hurricanes or earthquakes damaged a lot of human habitation and uh, equipment. The space station can reach any point on Earth in a few hours. So solar spore rapidly became an optimal solution to send back on Earth energy to a place hit by a disaster. We could also imagine this project orbiting around another planet like Mars. With Solaspo, we wanted to show a capacity to design a project inspired by nature and also incorporating new technology and innovation. Tomorrow, we want to go further with Solaspo and also design other amazing projects, so we will be back. <laughs>